Oh, but when you want somebody to play with you, then it's okay, huh? Now you telling her it's what dad said. Huh? Double team, and we're still going to win. And they're going to give him the ball and quick passes. They're going to throw it deep, and they're going to take advantage of him every opportunity they can. They will feed him. They will feature him because he's just that good. Solid pickup of four on first down and second and six. To the air, it's Rodgers. Fires left. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Alabama may always be built on the run, but these days they elevate with a high-flying pass game. And great coaches evolve. And we've seen the evolution of this Alabama offense over the last several years. And it's not just run. It's not just eat clock. It is be aggressive, attack, make big plays down the field. They'll give it to the back. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job game tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. You can go way back in the history books to the wishbone attack all the way back to the first Rose Bowl team Alabama builds its identity on a strong running game. Builds it on dudes that tote the rock and do it with nastiness, with some physicality. Touchdown, Bama! And once he got loose, it was all over. I think it's fair to say he didn't exactly have blazing speed on that one, but efficiently maneuvers his way into the end zone. He had enough speed, Reese, to get into the end zone. That's what he had. That's all you need. You don't have to have the fastest 40 time in the world. Can you get in the end zone? Yes, he can. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Hurricane offense will get its first crack at it now. And here comes this quarterback. This entire offense is built around him. He is the engine of the entire team. I mean, he's the leader. He's the alpha. Everybody looks towards him. He's been doing it all year long. Everybody believes in this young man. Big opportunity, big stage. Off play action on first down. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Give to the running back. Got the first down and still on his feet. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. They'll snap it from the 39, first and 10. Off the play fake. Looking deep down the right side. And he'll pull it in inside the 20. And that's another Miami Let's go, 
Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. One back in the backfield. He gets the carry. And he finds some solid space. Makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop it. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the pass. Caught near the sticks. It's Booker. And they make the stop at the two, but he's got enough to give them a first and goal. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback could throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both... And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Miami! And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole, he saw it, put his foot in the ground, and that was Pater. PAT unit on the field. Right down the middle. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Just wanted to find a little space to run and ekes out some to get it up to the 21. So after the first down run, here's second down. On the move, it's Rodgers. Oh, what a grab by the defense. Takes it the other way. And he is taking it all the way back. Touchdown, Hurricane! How often times do you say that there is a safety who's the most dangerous guy on the field with the ball in his hands? Did you see that guy and his ability in the open field once he picked it off? There was nobody on offense even coming close to getting that guy down. What an athlete. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes that Alabama offense. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks. But guess what? They do happen. So you've got to be able to turn the page. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. And that is a great job by the defense, containing and constricting the pocket. There was nowhere for the QB to go. He did not have a lot of time. He went down quick. They're trying to dig out of the hole on second and long from the nine. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Defense calls a quick timeout there, perhaps a little confusion about what call they were in. Alabama will bring the punt team on the field. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. On the return, it's Booker. Slips through the line. Can they catch him? He will score! Touchdown, K. A dynamic, explosive return. The sliver of daylight exploding through it, just vaporizing and reappearing on the other side and housing it. And punt 
returners are so quick, you can play touch football in an elevator with them and lose. You can't even get your hand on those so quick, so elusive. Does such a great job making people miss, but still going full speed up the field to get all the way to the end zone and score the TD. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to seven. Man, you just can't put a price on having a guy like that back there to return punts, and he turned that one into a touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Offense in the sumo set with the big boys. Using his legs, it's Edwards. Can't come in half-stepping to tackle this guy. Too much strength and power. He's up to the 25. This will likely be the last play of the half. There's a live football. The D scoops it up, and everybody reverses field. Alabama ready to put a boot to it to start the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. A little bit backed up to start this drive from their own 18-yard line. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the second half. Got enough for the first. At the 45 on his way. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds and he has the first down. Those outside runs, if they can get the edge like they do, great job by the right guard, right tackle, getting the edge. And now what does this do? This makes cornerbacks come up and tackle safeties come up and tackle as opposed to linebackers and big defensive players you get your guy out in space where he can use his speed and his physicality against guys that usually cover and don't come up and make tackles the offense getting set for a first down from the 45 he's gonna pass the freshman able to get home with the sack. Man, that's an impressive play. This dude is so dominant. And I'll tell you, we don't have enough time in this broadcast to list off all the great Alabama D linemen, especially in recent years. That play right there, that reminds me of a guy I played against back in the day, Cornelius Griffin, playing on the inside of Alabama's defensive line. You knew every single time you dropped back, you were going to have that guy in your lap. He was always pushing the pocket, and he was always collapsing it with his speed and athleticism and his first step. That last play right there. Ball in the air. Intercepted. The sudden change on the turnover, and Manny was looking for running room. Couldn't find that, but they'll have it at the 22. So you come out of the locker room for the second half, and right away, you throw a pick. Bad news, too, because you go into the locker room, and you sort of regroup, and you start thinking about how you're going to attack this defense, what adjustments you're going to make. You feel like you got a good plan running out of the locker room, and then to throw a pick right away, man, that is a gut punch. Trying to find his man on first down. Just too much mustard on that one. Can't miss the target that badly. Well, the good news is he did a nice job reading the coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football that time. Just a little bit too much on that pass. You wonder if that's just nerves. He's got to settle himself down a little bit. Complete downfield. Look at that toughness just running through everybody. Now on first down for this offense. That's a really nice job plucking that pass. I don't know if another school has done as good a job as Alabama in recent years as bringing in top-level talent. And the ball is out. Who's going to get it? Well, ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers.
receivers, QB's got to keep two hands on the ball as well. They're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped on. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Back to throw, it's Rodgers. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. The Crimson Tide will bring the punt team on the field. Remember, they took the last punt back for a touchdown. I mean, this guy has some serious guts from its own end zone. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. From the gun, the ground game. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D-tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double-teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last one. Diving up a second down pass play. Fires to the tight end. Got enough space. And he'll hold it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama! Offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. It takes advantage of great field position. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. That last drive and the turnover, not what you're looking for when you have the lead, Jesse. Yeah, and really, I think for them, it's just staying out of their own way. They're making plays. They've got the playmakers to go and win this game, so it's just a matter of executing better. Yeah, executing better, understanding I still got the lead. Put a drive together here and build on that lead. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. Running hard and getting six yards out to the 26. Facing a third down and short from the 26. Big third down for this defense. Listen, you've got to get the ball back. You know what they're doing. They're trying to run the football, but we need the clock to be on our... And it's picked off. That's the turnover they desperately needed. Man, we needed that so bad. We needed the football. Had to get a stop. Forcing a turnover. Best case scenario. Offense back on the field, trailing in the fourth quarter. Time to go win it. Gets it out quickly. Let's see what they've got on second down. They'll run play action. Throws to the tight end. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. Back to throw. It's Rodgers. He's got his man. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give him a first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Back to the air one more time. Caught over the middle. It's Edwards. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And this is the chance for this offense. A first and goal, fourth quarter, trying to tie the game up. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. Now the play fake. And it's incomplete as he was trying to make the play in the back corner of the end zone. If they can get it into the end zone here, they can really turn up the heat in this one. Third and goal. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. And third down for a defensive lineman. 
Trust me, I'm one of them. It's money down. Go get me that quarterback. Make the stop. Get him to fourth down. The defensive line, the defense was ready to rock and roll. Nice job. Trailing and getting deep in the game. They'll go for it here on fourth and goal. Fires into the end zone. And he's got it. He's got it for a touchdown. And here in the final minute, they're a single point behind. Man, great execution. That is how it's done late in the football game now. All you need is that extra point. Bring the kicker out there. This is what you do. Just like practice, knock it through the uprights, tie this football game, and we might be looking at overtime soon. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lane, and they'll stop him at the 16. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. A pretty good bit of ground to cover here, Jesse, but they've got some time to work with. They do. So tempo's going to be important. you got to go fast. you just got to make good decisions at the quarterback position. And those good decisions are throwing the ball beyond the sticks, using the sidelines to get out of bounds, try to maximize this time and get it a position to win. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Well, they've thrown two straight incompletions, and they just need to play pitch and catch on this next play. They're down a possession, and you don't have to necessarily get the first down right here, but if you don't get it, you've got to at least keep the fourth down manageable to give yourself an opportunity to keep pushing the ball down the field and give yourself a shot to win. And the Canes will punt this one away. Well, they're down a possession, and they're on their own side of the 50, so they need a big one right here. They've just thrown three straight incompletions, but it just takes one. It just takes one big play down the field to all of a sudden get that momentum and that juice flowing again to give yourselves a chance to win. Going up top on first down. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And the quarterback just couldn't bring himself to pull the trigger and get rid of the ball, and they knock it free. So let's give the secondary tons of credit, right, Reese? They were doing an outstanding job in the back end in coverage, not allowing any receivers open, and that's why the QB had to keep holding it and keep holding it. That allowed the pass rush to get to him, and that created the turnover. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south. Get a first down. Get a new set of downs. Beaver, Beaver. To the air on first down. They're working that left side. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. They'll get the timeout with five seconds remaining to play. And they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. They'll get the timeout with five seconds remaining to play. And they decide to trot out the kicker. Right down the boulevard. It's good. They have grabbed the lead in the waning seconds of the game, and they are so, so close to victory. It is a nerve-wracking feeling as a football player when the game comes down to your kicker, and he has to come through, and Palmer, he comes through with flying colors. And you know in college football, no field goal is automatic, but there's no college kicker situation here. He drills that right through the uprights, and David, it looks like his team's getting the dub. That late much field goal put them on top. They can almost taste victory if they can keep them from scoring the tie or win the game. He'll start the return inside his five. No more room to run. They make the tackle right there, and the clock is at zero, and that's how this one will end. Guys, that one was a ton of fun to call, and the players, a lot of games sort of wash away in the memory bank. Not that one. That will be an indelible mark in their memories. I agree, Reese. You know, I think back to my career at Florida and just the games that stand out the most were always the ones that went down to the wire, whether we lost or whether we won. For this team, this is going to be a good memory moving forward, David, because of how well they played. Today. Did you lose more of those or win more of those? I'm just asking for a friend. Tennessee, what happened? Hey, uh, yeah, it's, it's big time clubs, right? These are the ones that define your seasons, define your careers, and the ones you never forget, those heartbreakers that come down to the last play.
That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.